There's been a lot of controversies in video games over the years, but what would you say is the most controversial thing Nintendo has ever done? What about that time Mario Party 8 was recalled in the UK just hours after being released due to one of the characters calling you a spastic, a term particularly offensive in the UK? Or maybe you'd suggest it was one of the many times that Nintendo have been accused of racism over the years. And there was that funny incident when Nintendo of America tweeted out hashtag Wigger Wednesday. Maybe that's why they hate Waluigi. Well, what if I was to tell you there was something you could play on one of Nintendo's own machines, which included their mascot, smoking, murder, and sex thrown in there too? Surely that sort of thing doesn't exist on a Nintendo console, right? Downloadable content is the norm nowadays. In an instant, you can download games, updates, and check out trailers for all manner of upcoming titles. But in the mid 90s, the internet was quite a bit different, and it was a bit crap in comparison, to be honest. What's a web page? Something ducks walk on? Despite this, as far back as April of 1995, you could sort of do these things with the Super Famicom. Through the use of a satellite peripheral called the Satellaview, a Japanese exclusive add on for the Super Famicom, gamers could access exclusive games and a whole host of other digital content too. It was an expensive bit of kit but it didn't stop over 116,000 homes using the service at its peak. For it to work, you'd need a Super Famicom, a Satellaview, which came with a BSX cartridge and a memory pack, and along with a BS tuner and a monthly subscription fee, you could receive signals and download a whole host of digital content. This was all broadcast from satellite TV station Wow Wow's <laughs> Wow, wow. Satellite radio subsidiary St. Giga. Now, you couldn't download stuff whenever you wanted. You'd have to keep an eye on the time, wait until the signal was broadcast, and then you could download content during the limited time it was available. Also, as this was done through the use of a memory pack, games could be overwritten. So if you didn't get a new memory pack, then you'd either miss out on new content, or to download new content, you'd lose your old ones. If you wanted it back, you'd have to hope that it would appear again on the schedule. Using the Satellaview, gamers could roam the city via the game city of BSX, the story of the town whose name was stolen, and go to certain buildings where you could download content that was being broadcast at the time. This novel device led to a number of unique titles being available to download, many of which are not often discussed nowadays. This includes titles such as the Mario version of Excitebike, Bun Bun Mario Battle Stadium, as well as BS The Legend of Zelda Ancient Stone Tablets, which was downloadable as a four-part episodic game. So the Satellaview resulted in a new way to download content, and this led to one title in particular which is of interest here, and it's actually a digital magazine called Shitamachi Ninja Gekijo. Also known as Lower City Empathy Theatre, and even more commonly known as Lily Frankie Theatre, the digital magazine started in November of 1995, and showcased Mario, and a supporting cast of iconic Nintendo characters, involved in all number of controversial acts and inappropriate imagery. While it's not often you see Toad giving oral sex to Princess Peach on an officially licensed Nintendo product, even if it is acted out by plush toys. This rather bizarre title featured Mario and Toad being in jail for some undisclosed reason and are due to be imprisoned for 20 years. Toad is obviously quite upset by this, until Mario surprises Toad by pulling a spoon out of his butthole. Yes, I just said that. So Mario pulls the uncomfortable hunk of metal out of his ass in order to dig their way out of prison. Although it turns out it didn't work and he suggests Toad uses his hands to dig his way out instead. Yes, this was actually available on an officially licensed Nintendo product. In the following episode, just as Toad can barely cope any longer, Mario pulls a drill out of his ball sack. Yes. Thanks to this drill, Mario and Toad are able to tunnel their way to freedom, escaping to Rio in Brazil of all places. Another episode sees Mario and Toad meet Bill Gates, who proceeds to try and convince Mario and Toad about the wonders of Windows 1995, before putting it on his head for some reason. It's this episode that was particularly disturbing though. Toad convinces Princess Peach into giving her oral sex. Mario catches them and is pretty upset. Despite Toad and Peach trying to talk their way out of it, Mario proceeds to stomp the crap out of Toad until he's seemingly dead. Oh, and then Princess Peach as well for added measure. 
Oh, and to top it all off, Mario celebrates by having a cigarette. Screenshots for these episodes are available online, but the actual ROM isn't. In fact, the only person that appears to have had the ROM last posted in 2008 and seemingly hasn't been heard from since. That hasn't stopped some keen preservationists from attempting to recreate the ROM though. The fact that this was ever playable on an officially licensed Nintendo product is pretty shocking. And if you're thinking this is all fake and an ill-timed April Fool, well, you'd actually be incorrect. Famitsu Magazine have also documented the title, and it appears as though it was created by some of the radio hosts on St. Giga. Well, you weren't exactly expecting this to have been a Miyamoto game, was you? I'm not sure how much Nintendo are aware of it, but if they are, it's not surprising they'd rather pretend it doesn't exist. But thanks to the internet, we can all know about this rare oddity. Maybe the ROM will pop up one day, but it does make me think about all the unique games and digital content that has likely been lost over the years. If there's anything you're aware of that doesn't get talked about much, please do leave a comment. Now thanks for watching and leave me alone.